Okay, uh, this is uh, done by the, the grandchildren of, of my father. They put this together and they, they wanted this presented today for you all. Bazem Kanmanara Jalo Nunakol Kabul, aka Dennis Horowa Walker was born 2nd of December 1946 to parents Udru Nunakal and Bruce Walker. He was a proud Nunakal man and although he grew up in Brisbane and spent most of his life travelling, Minjurabar was always home. For those that don't know Minjurabar, we call it Strabrook Island. Bazem was an older brother to Vivian and Robert, and in 1965 began his journey as a father to Raymond, Petrina, Joshua, Shay, Dane, Toy, Michaela, Bruce, Lloydie, Udru, and Grant. He would then go on to be a grandfather for 40 and a great grandfather to 17. Throughout his life, Bajem was well known for serving his people as a Navy sea merchant, a freedom fighter, an educator, and an activist for the rights of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Being a son of Udru Nunakal, Bajem was always politically aware and in the late 60s became not only heavily involved but a leader in the development of many movements and organisations, including the Brisbane Black Panther chapter. The Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Legal Aid Service, Brisbane Aboriginal Elders in Council and National Aboriginal and Islander Health Organisation. While he spent his younger years advocating for the rights of Australia's First Nations people, Bazem dedicated his later years to establishing and developing cultural heritage and education programs, CHEPs, and treaty initiation circles. These aimed to revitalize the tribal laws of elder circles, men's circles, women's circles, and treaty initiation circles through tribal governance and self-determination. Bajam dedicated his life in continuing his mother, Ujuru's legacy, a legacy that will be honoured and kept alive by generations to come. He will be remembered not only as a father, grandfather and great-grandfather, but an ad advocate, a leader and a warrior for our people in his mission for peace, prosperity and healing. May his spirit rest in the dream time. And now I would like to read a passage from the book of Acts, chapter 18, passage 9. One night the Lord spoke to Paul in a vision. Do not be afraid. Keep on speaking. Do not be silent. Namaste. God bless you all and I'd like to pass back over to my dad, Spook. Thank you very much.